Hello, and welcome to our Advent Calendar, a project of St. Thomas a Beckett Church, Ramsey. My name's Ian Osborne, the Rector of Ramsey. Today, as we continue to think about friendship with God, we're going to think about someone who very nearly blew it, who made terrible mistakes in his life and caused a great deal of harm. But one of the things about being a friend of God is that God helps us to get past our mistakes. He picks us up and rebuilds our lives. Let me show you the picture. You might have to look carefully to see what's going on in this picture. It's very dark and that's quite deliberate. It uh, partly because it depicts something that takes place at night, but also because it's showing a scene from the life of a man who was at his lowest ebb in his darkest night, metaphorically speaking. The man's name is Jacob. He was uh, one of the uh, grandsons of uh, Abraham that we talked about yesterday. He and his brother grew up together. They were twins. Uh, his brother was uh, the first out of the womb. And so the elder, the one who was due to inherit, and uh, Jacob tried to cheat him, tried to fool his father into uh, handing on the flocks uh, and the wealth to him. In uh, the equivalent today would be he tried to forge the will. And his brother was very angry with him and Jacob ran away, ran away for his life. Many years later, he returned. He didn't know what greeting he would find. In fact, I think it, he believed it was quite possible that his brother would kill him. But he couldn't bear to remain any longer in exile. And the night when he returned to his own country, he lay down with his head on a rock and went to sleep. And he had a dream dream of a ladder reaching up to heaven with the servants of God, the angels going up and down between uh, heaven and earth. That in itself is an image of the friendship between God and human beings, between the, the realm of God in heaven, if you like, and the earth. And the message to Jacob was that he was blessed. If he wanted to turn his life around, God would place a blessing on that. Because God is holy and we human beings are not very a lot of the time, we do foolish and sometimes cruel things. A human life needs to be full of fresh starts, of repentance in religious language, feeling really sorry and trying to uh, make restitution for the wrong you've done. And that is a normal part of being a friend of God. Because, uh, because that's who we are and that's who God is. So the message is if you want to be a friend of God and you know there are things in your life that are very wrong. It's not too late to put them right. And God wants to be your friend, even though those things are wrong and he'll help you to put them right. So, so say sorry and make restitution. Bye-bye.